quick update from the Blanco Lario Mobile Command Post here at the Reno National Championship Air Races regarding the 737 hard landing that resulted in the left gear, left main gear failure at Santa Ana, California back on August 20th. The NTSB preliminary report is out and those of you that said that that did not look like an overly hard landing were correct. Down here they downloaded the digital flight data recorder and the CVR and their preliminary data indicate that the aircraft touched down at 11:15 uh, with a maximum vertical acceleration of 1.71 g. The value is below the hard landing threshold of 2.2 g's per the Alaska Airlines aircraft maintenance manual. So what failed was the left main landing gear trunnion pin. And they've got some pictures here. Here's the left main gear. Here's where the uh, aft trunnion pin failed. Here's the main gear walking beam. Here's the forward trunnion bearing, which has been bent badly out of place now. So the gear, uh, the trunnion failed and the gear uh, failed aft, and that poked the walking beam up through some of the panels in the wing. Here's the right main landing gear. Here's what it's supposed to look like. The forward trunnion bearing located here and the aft trunnion bearing, bearing located somewhere way back here. And then a closer look at this failed aft trunnion bearing located here in the, uh, I guess, wing spar area. And there is the pin that failed right there. And here's a closer look at the pin that failed right here. So some sort of pre-existing condition with the landing gear uh, regarding this trunnion pin. Now investigators are going to have to decide do they want to, are they going to have to widen their scope on these uh, trunnion pins and consider, well, examining some of the trunnion pins on other aircraft? Uh, is there is there a metallurgical problem with the uh, trunnion pins that may drive an uh, airworthiness directive? We'll have to find out. So it was not a hard, an overly hard landing. Remember, it was during the uh, remains of the hurricane or tropical storm um, that was passing through the area at the time that the landing was made in very challenging conditions. And uh, the captain and FO gave testimony to where they were on speed and uh, landed at the 1,000 foot marker. So it was a stabilized approach and landed in the zone. Upon landing the on the touchdown, the captain said he had a the landing had a firm jolt feeling to it and the aircraft was pulling reasonably hard to the left. The captain was able to overcome this with rudder pedal input and was was able to keep the airplane on center line. He stated to the FO that it felt like the airplane had a flat tire on the left main landing gear and the FO completed the after landing procedures which included bringing the APU online. The captain slowed the aircraft down to taxi speed and exited the runway at Echo. And then they noticed that the aircraft was listing to the left. The captain stopped the airplane on the taxiway, set the parking brake. He opened his window, looked outside, and noticed the aircraft was resting on the left cowling. And it appeared to be still running normally. So he immediately shut down the left engine. The captain also noted that the left gear landing gear indicator light was not green anymore it had gone completely dark whereas the nose and right main landing gear position indicator lights were still green after confirming the APU was running he shut down the right engine made announcements to the passenger briefed the flight attendants no injuries reported and they all headed out um, the R1 door via stairways so good job crew we gotta find out what the deal is with these trunnion pins on the 737 was this just a one-off deal or is this a larger problem? Back to the air races. Thanks so much for your support. See you here.